Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can, well, disassemble I guess, but reassemble the cursor more importantly. This is a tough puzzle. This is a lot tougher than it looks. There is so many variations and possibilities of where it can go and what goes through where. Today I'm going to show you the simplest way that I have found. And it takes literally like 30 seconds tops, even if you've never done it before. So I'm going to show you how you can put it back together. And then at the end for a little bit of fun, we're going to see just how quickly I can solve it. And just in case you're struggling, uh, this is how you disassemble it. You grab it, you shake it, and you're done. Now I'll show you how you can put it back together. So here is a completely disassembled cursor puzzle. Now the first thing I want to do is get the middle bit and I want the side that doesn't have the writing on. So it says Coaster and Hanayama here. I'm going to flip it around to this position and I want the other two bits on the curve that doesn't have any gaps in. So all the gaps of the middle bit are up here. Now the bit on the right hand side, I want to line those up so that the gaps in here go left, right, left, right. So this bit isn't in the right position at the minute because it goes left, right, right, right. So I'm just going to flip it around until I find the point at which I do find that left, right, left, right. So it's none of these, which all I need to do then is just flip that around and get it so that the other puzzle, uh, the other piece is on the right hand side. And again, I'm just going to look for this side here where the gap goes left, right, left, right. Okay. Then for the left hand side, I want to go right, right, left, left. And as it happens, this is exactly the position that I want it to be in. Once we've got that position, we're going to hold the middle bit. We're going to take the piece on the right and we're just going to lift it up and over. I'm going to fold it over into this position here. And that should lie perfectly flat. That's exactly where we want to be with that piece of the puzzle. However, this bit is not in the right position. So to get this bit in the right position, we're going to slightly separate those two pieces and we're going to put that, this curve through the middle. Okay. Then we can put those first two pieces back together and all we need to do then is fold that third piece over this way and we've reassembled the coastal puzzle. So there we go. It's a relatively simple solve when you follow that routine. Solving it for the first time is, is nowhere near as simple as that, as you probably already know. So now for a little bit of fun, we're going to see just how quickly I can put this puzzle back together. So there it is, that was actually pretty quick. I'm quite proud of that one. I'm most proud that it was my first attempt, which is, I think, a first with uh, with speed solving the puzzles that we've done before. If you think you can beat that time, please comment below with, with how quickly you can solve it. Now, hopefully the, the steps to solving it or to putting it back together are easy to follow. That was the aim. This is quite a tough one to, to figure out, right, what's the simplest way? How can I describe it best? So. Hopefully I've done a, a decent job of that. It's not an easy puzzle. If you want to see me attempt it for the first time, then you can click that video just over there. If you want to watch me solve one of these other puzzles, then you can click the other video just under here. If you want to see me solve more in the future, then click my face here to subscribe. Comment below if you can beat my time and I will see you next time. Peace.